Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got a bunch of new shields to talk about, so let's dive right in and explain what we've got. We're starting to get into carrying a lot more FPGA boards. Um, we have the Papilio and we've got the Mojo V3. These are some new shields or wings that work with the Papilio. The Papilio is really nice because it's open source, there's a lot of documentation, and quite frankly, it's probably the easiest way to get into FPGA that exists. This is the Papilio Logic Start Mega Wing. The Logic Start Mega Wing is kind of like a um, danger shield. If anyone's familiar with our danger shield, it has just a bunch of knobs and switches and buttons and things like that. This is very similar to that in that you have a seven segment, you have a bunch of switches, you have some LEDs, you've got a little selector button, um, you've actually got a VGA output here and an audio output. So it just kind of has, you know, the kitchen sink of a lot of different things. And so it's a good way to just kind of learn how FPGAs work and learn how to program them and just get your hands on with some hardware and just start playing around. Next up, we've got the Arcade Mega Wing. The Arcade Mega Wing is a little bit different than the Logic Start and then it has a little bit more of a um, narrow focus purpose. This is for making video games or making, you know, video games. Um, you've got a bunch of connectors on here. You've actually got two joystick ports. You've got up, down, left, right for navigation. Um, you've got on this other side, you've got a couple of PS2s for um, either a mouse or a keyboard input. You've got the DB15 for VGA output. And then you've of course got an audio output. So this kind of gives you all the hardware on one nice little board. And then you can start developing arcade games. And of course with the VGA out and the audio out, you can connect it to a computer monitor and start playing your own video games. So both of these boards are really cool because there's a lot of documentation behind them to actually get you started into making something and learning how FPGAs actually work. So let's talk seven segments. They're very common, you see them everywhere, alarm clocks, microwaves, things like that. They're really easy to use, they're very versatile, you can do pretty much anything with them. Whenever you need that kind of like just numeric output, you know, like a countdown or a counter or Anything like that, scorekeeping for games, seven segments are really cool. This is our serial seven segment, which we've been carrying for a really long time. It just comes in these you know, nice little packages with Natmeg on the back and all the connections you'd ever need. These work over, um, I think, SPI, I squared C, and just standard good old TTL serial. And we also have the open segment, which as you can see is a much bigger version of that, but they all kind of work off the same firmware. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same. And of course on the back we have um, 328 and some other stuff on there. Sometimes you might not want something like this or you might not want something like this. You just want it on a shield for developing or whatever other reason you have. So we now basically have the open segment in a shield form factor. And we've got it in all the colors except for blue. We um, are just waiting on the actual seven segment displays to show up, but we will have it in blue eventually. The nice thing about all of these, including this little guy, is they all have an Atmega 328 on the back. So you can use them with a shield or you can send them a serial signal or you know control them with something else. But a lot of people have actually used the code that we've put on these, reprogram them, and you can turn them into its own little standalone Arduino if you want. So I plug it in, it just says one, two, three, four. So this guy is the red. There is the green, probably a little bit dim with the studio lights. There is the yellow. And lastly, here is the white. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention about all these is if you look at the source code, we have a lot of um, kind of convenient little things built into them, like counter. So every time a pin goes high or low or whatever, you can just have it count up. We also have like running timers. There's a lot of the code that we've built in that is the standard use case scenarios, you know, the ways that you would be using these normally. So um, that is the selection of our seven segments. They're pretty easy to use if you're looking to do anything with counting or numbers or scoring or anything like that. Definitely check out any of the seven segment displays. So there you have it. This is our Friday new product post. As always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and check that out. And we will see you again next week with even more new products.